हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू डाउनलोड एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ फाइल फ्रॉम द इंटरनेट टू योर गूगल ड्राइव यूजिंग गूगल एप स्क्रिप्ट सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ वेरी जनरल टास्क दैट एवरी पर्सन डू दैट दे डाउनलोड इमेजेस फ्रॉम इंटरनेट टू गूगल ड्राइव सो आई विल बी ऑटोमेटिंग दिस प्रोसेस यूजिंग गूगल एप स्क्रिप्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू गो टू दिस लिंक विच इज स्क्रिप्ट डॉट गूगल डॉट कॉम सो you need to create a new project for that so just click on new project and then you will be redirected to the script editor so here you will be writing the code for doing that so i will be making a new function here so let me just zoom in so that you can see function download file so inside this function we will be writing the logic in order to download the file from the internet and save it to your google drive and i have made a folder here called as images so just make a empty folder from here just click on new and create a folder and now first of all inside this uh, function we just need to declare some variables first will be the file name which will be empty for now so just declare it empty and the second variable will be file size so it will be holding the size of the file which we will be downloading so these are two variables and now we will be making a simple http request to the internet for fetching the resource so this will be url fetch class url fetch app class and there inside there is a method which is dot fetch so inside this you need to provide the url uh so in my case i will be downloading this image here profile.jpg so in your case it it may be different so just uh, copy paste the url and write here inside double quotes paste the url so this is the url of the photo and now it will return the response and it will store it inside this result variable and now we just need to uh, also check for the response code so we can just get it by response dot get response code so it is it returns a response code depending upon whether the request is successful or not so if it is equal to 200 then we know that uh, it is successful so we will be writing a if condition here for checking it so if the response code is equal to 200 so in that case we will process it so the very first thing that we need to do here is that we just need to create a blob object here so file blob and we can just convert it by response dot get blob so you just need to write here get blob so response dot get blob so just wait here get blob so this uh, function will be creating this blob object and after creating this we will be having to create another variable which will hold the folder id so here first of all we will be writing here drive app dot get folder by id so we will be selecting this method so we will be selecting the folder uh, of its id we will be providing the folder id here in order to get the folder id is very easy right click it and get the shareable link and it is copy paste it so here you will see that after the id is equal to this is the folder id so just copy this id and paste it here and this will return the folder for us and uh, now in the if condition we will check that if it is not equal to null so here we will just check if folder is not equal to null so in that case it it just means that we have got the folder and now we just need to save this file on to our google drive in order to save the file first of all we will create it by folder dot create file so we will use the create file method so and we will pass the blob object that we have created which is stored inside file blob so after creating the file in the google drive we will get the file name and store it inside the variable that we have constructed file name so file dot get name so basically it will get the name of the file which has created and in order to get the size file size it is very simple file dot get size 
so after getting the name and the size we can just uh, create an object and log into the screen so just after this if condition we can just create a new object of file info and this will contain three values first will be the response code rc colon so this needs to be surrounded in single quotes so just write here single quotes rc and the second property will be the actual file name so here we I, I will write here file name so this will be file name and the third property will be the file size so here we will write the file size colon the file size which it holds and now lastly we just need to print it on the console and now we will be using a logger class which is available logger dot log this is a method which is available and we will pass here file info that's it so this is a code necessary for saving the file to the google drive and now in order to run this we will click the run button it is saying that first of all save the project let me just name as download click on ok and then it will say that select the function so let me just first of all save the file here save saving the file code and click on run button so you will you have to provide the permissions first of all if you run the project so i will provide the permissions so sign in with my account here so click on advanced and uh, go to download so just do this stuff and allow the permissions you can see that allow it after you can see that running this function download file so it is saying that response is not defined on line 8 oh sorry we have called it as result so that is the error here so just change this to result now it will be okay again run this so again i have named this as response so i think that what can i do here is that i can just change this result to response one change here click on the run button again and hopefully it will download the file from the internet you can see that the process is complete let me just check here you will see that this images folder has got an image here profile.jpg and now if i check my log here by going to view logs you will see that the response code was 200 file name was profile.jpg and the file size was uh, these much these much of bytes so in this way guys you can just download any sort of image from the internet let me download one other image for just reference here let me go to my website coding siksha and take one other image for example and let me just download this image let me just right click copy image address and now i will change this to this is i just need to make this change here and uh, i will be running this function once again and now you will see that the second image will be downloaded and populated inside this folder so just wait it is downloading so you will see that guys this photo has been downloaded you can see that dot jpg and again if i check the logs folder by going to logs here you will see that this time the response code is 200 and file name has changed and the file size is greater than you can see that so in this way guys very easily you can just download any sort of image file from the internet and save it automatically to your google drive without having to interact with any kind of api you just need to write this code that i have shown to you in this video so thanks very much for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe the channel and tapping the notification bell icon and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much